Hey everybody, I'm Scott Weichel. You're listening to My Kind of Country. Thanks for joining us on a Monday night. My very special guest has got a brand new single and a video out, and I love the title. It's called Jesus, Haggard, and Jones. Don't get any better than that, folks. He's from Odessa, Texas, and he's here to tell us about his great music and career tonight. It's my pleasure to welcome Creed Fisher to My Kind of Country. Creed, how you doing tonight? I'm doing good, buddy. How you doing? Oh, fantastic. Great to have you on the show. Thanks for having us, bud. Oh man, you have uh, you've had quite a few albums out already, and you've had 22 million streams on Spotify, 17 million views on YouTube, and man, I tell you what, you've got a lot of fans out there. Blessed to have them, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Working hard for for a while now, so it's good to see it build and build. Well, uh, before we get into your uh, new single and uh, talking about your new albums coming up, uh, tell me a little bit of your background. What got you into the wonderful world of country music? Well, I grew up listening to country, you know, since I was little, and and had been. Uh, I wrote poetry since I was in high school, and you know, I raised my kids, and I was an oil field electrician for twenty years, and ended up getting divorced. And the next thing I know, I was trying to play a guitar and write a song. So, just kind of way life played out for me personally, and I ended up, you know, my kids were uh, were grown by that time, and. I just started writing songs and put put out an album, and that's that's how it started. Well, I noticed on your website you've got uh, quite a few albums that you've done. Yeah, Whiskey and the Dogs, I think, our 12th full-length album. Folks, I do want to let you know you can go to creedfisher.net. That is Creed's website, and you can check him out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. We'll have that information on our Facebook page for My Kind of Country for you. Brand new album on in the works for you, as you mentioned, called Whiskey and the Dog. and You've got a, a fantastic new song called Jesus, Haggard, and Jones. And, man, it don't get any better than that. Tell me about that song. Well, it just goes back, you know, it's kind of a story about the life of Creed Fisher. It talks about, you know, my mom and my dad and just lived growing up in West Texas and you know there's a bar or in a church on every other corner you know so it just talks about the way of life the way I grew up and it, it, you know I talk about my uncles and and the only things you can really count on in this world and that's Jesus Hager and Jones so that's the gist of that you know Ernest Tubb had a song out called uh, Saturday Satan Sunday Saint and that kind of reminds me of your uh your town with all the you know the churches on one corner and the bar on the next corner. Yeah, that's just how West Texas is, man. Growing up out there in the seventies and eighties, you know. So the new album is going to be uh, with uh, Dirt Rock Empire, and they're a fantastic indie label. And uh, what? Uh, give me a little bit of uh, information on what else we could expect on this new album. And it's just got something for everybody. It's got four. It's fourteen original new songs. You know. You're gonna laugh, cry, and party. You know, you're gonna want to drink. It's <laughs> just, it's a roller coaster. It's uh, just real traditional country music. The album comes out October 22nd. It's out for pre-order right now. There's two instant gratification tracks, so you get two songs that, that are out now. How on the bottle just came out last Friday. So we'll be dropping at least. Uh, so the good old US of A comes out October 8th. And then the album comes out October 22nd. Not too far away now. And will you have uh, physical copies available, too, in addition to downloads? Yes, sir. Uh, at, uh, when it comes out on the 22nd, you'll be able to purchase it on the website. Fantastic. That's creedfisher.net. Again, that information will be on our Facebook page for you folks. So you've obviously uh, resisted the temptation to go into the mainstream, and I can tell that uh, real country music is definitely what you're about. Yeah, I'm about doing it my own way. You know, I've never been one to to do things other people's way. <laughs> well, that's great. I write my own songs, put them out myself, and then, you know, and if my music's going to be what I want it to be and not what someone else wants it to be. I'm uh, real excited to uh, hear the new album, and we'll be sure to get uh, more of those songs on the air uh, when they come out. And what's uh, what's coming up for you as far as tour dates and promotion for your new project? Got the pre-order going on right now for the new album. And uh, we have, you know, we're playing some shows in Texas this month and October. You know, we're just playing, you know, we're going out probably about eight, eight or nine shows a month right now. November, it'll, it'll drop off. And we'll always take a break from Thanksgiving to mid-February. Tell me about the guys in your band. Six band members. Uh, I put the band together in 2016. 
with my bass player Chuck Jones and uh, the guitar player Emmanuel Pastuki, who's from Rome, Italy. And it's just, you know, over the years I've pieced it together and it's just part of the greatest parts about Free Fish was the live show. You know, people say that all the time. Really blessed to have the, the band that I do. Um, I'm always curious when I talk to songwriters, how do you get inspiration to write a song? Do songs just come to you or do you actually sit down and say, I'm going to write a song? Ah, it just comes to me. I mean, I used to write a lot when I was younger, when I first got into music. You know, I, I'd written probably two, three, three hundred songs. But these days, you know, I just, I don't really write to, I don't force, you know, I don't force it. So it just kind of comes to me here and there. You know, as I go through life and I'll listen to different, you know, artists and just kind of get in the mood to write a song, get inspired by something. I mean, these days I usually just wait till it's time to do the album and just sit down and blast it out, you know. Well, obviously, uh, Haggard and Jones are influences for you. Who are some of your uh, go-to artists and some of your biggest influences? I have to say Hank Jr. is probably one of the biggest influences, him and Waylon. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking time to be on the show today, and we are going to play the new single for you. And there's also a video for that. We'll put that on our Facebook page. It's called Jesus, Haggard, and Jones. The upcoming album is Whiskey and the Dog, and you can get that uh, right now. You can pre-order it at creedfisher.net, and we encourage you to go pick that up and some of uh, Creed's other great music. He's got a lot of it out there, folks. Pick some of it up. Creed, it's been a pleasure having you on My Kind of Country. Thanks for taking the time today. Thanks so much for having us, buddy. I really appreciate it. All right, my honor. Here is Jesus, Haggard, and Jones as we continue with My Kind of Country. Hanging out with my mama Learned about Jesus Hanging out with my dad I met Haggard and Jones Hanging out in the backseat At 68 Chevy Learned about heartache and the ways of the world Hanging out with Uncle Ronnie I learned to roll up a fat one Hanging out with Uncle Pooch I learned to kick someone's ass Hanging out with my grandpa I learned about hard work And all that you need with the pride in your hands Jesus for the hard times Haggard for the fighting side George Jones when I feel like getting high A bottle on a shelf With a bar whore in a hotel This bottle in my hands going dry Hanging out on a bar stool Learned about drinking Hanging out with the police Learned to knock Jesse James Hanging out with Mark Jones I learned he still can't get laid Some things in this town Ain't ever gonna change Hanging out with old Hankins Learned he loves a T-bone Hanging out with my ex-wife, she's a pain in the ass it Turns out in this life, that in the long run The only thing you can count on, Jesus Haggard and John Got Jesus for the hard times, Haggard for my fighting side George Jones when I feel like getting high Hands going dry. Bottle of 
shelf Bar whore in a hotel This bottle in my hands going dry 